Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming and today we're back in Bash, alright? We're not even going to talk about programming, we're talking about Bash. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about IFS, IFS, the inner field separator. We're going to talk about that variable, we're going to demystify it ever so slightly. I've talked about this in the past, I've showed a couple examples, but this time I'm going to drill in specifically into this variable and give you one quick concrete example that can help you understand it, alright? So let's come up with something really simple. Let's make an array. Cool. How do we do that? Well, we just use parentheses. So A equals foo bar baz. Bam, now we have an array. So what happens if we echo dollar A? Well, we're in bash. We only echo the first element of the array. If you were in Z shell, this might be different. I don't actually remember off the top of my head, but in bash, we only get the first element. So how do we figure out how many elements are in it? Well, first thing we have to do is we have to wrap it in curly braces. This is exactly the same as the line above it. Now that we have it in curly braces, we can use the square bracket notation. So in the square bracket, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. We can put a star here, get every element of the array. We can put an at sign here, get every element of the array. If you want to know the difference, I have a video explaining this. Um, but if we want to know the count of it, we can actually put a pound sign in front of this and we can see that there are three elements in the array. Cool, let's talk about IFS. So first thing we can do is we can do what we did above. We can print the variable with the star notation. The star notation stringifies it, okay? And this stringifies it using the IFS. So right now the IFS is set to the default value, which is a space tab new line in that order. And it's grabbing the first character from it. It's a list of characters, it's grabbing the first one and it's separating them by that. So you can see it's separating them by spaces. What if we unset IFS and then we run it? Cool, we get kind of the default behavior. What if we set IFS to the empty string. So it's set to nothing. What happens now? Look at that. So we stringified it, but we used what the IFS was set to. It was set to nothing, so it joined the elements of the array by nothing. So they are squished up on each other. What if we were to set the IFS to colon? And then we were to do it. Bam! Now we have colon separated values. How cool is that? What if we were to set the IFS to, I don't know, underscore A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, something like that underscores it only uses the first character of the ifs so that is a quick cool little way of dealing with the ifs and bash and joining variables and arrays and all that crap cool